It's been two months since the severe April blizzard dumped heavy snows over much of North Dakota. 2,100 cattle producers in the state reported some losses. Ag groups are working to upgrade federal government compensation levels that pay for part of their loss. Mikkel Pates has more in this week's Ag Week cover story. Probably the largest loss that I heard, um, they're pushing close to 300. The death loss for cows and calves is bad enough, but there's also ongoing health concerns and it throws off timing for everything else on the farm. When this storm hit, we were pretty much in the middle of calving. Greg Meyer and his family have a 320 cow commercial beef herd. The first multi-day storm was followed by another a few days later and then by rain and icy winds. Some producers to the east were hit with a third weekend blizzard. Since the Myers knew the snow was coming, they had time to put up a 20-acre enclosure in their calving pasture using an earthen windbreak, portable panels, and barbed wire. Greg's daughter Lacey, one of the family's ranch partners, spent a couple of nights in a pickup truck keeping watch. We had to stay out there constantly and make sure, you know, everything was getting pulled into the barn, put in the warmer, and it, it, it was tough. Despite their best efforts, the Myers lost nearly 40 calves in the storm and rain and wind aftermath. They and others in the region lost animals to the pneumonia and scours that came after the storm. A lot of the losses that we see come in that form, um, just as much as things that you know are catastrophic that happen right in the heart of um, the weather event itself. The North Dakota Stockman's Association and other farm groups and advocates are pushing to nearly triple compensation formulas under the Livestock Indemnity Program, which would still only partially compensate ranchers for above normal cattle losses. The state FSA office is working to make sure deaths from storm-related diseases count. Despite the challenges, there is still optimism. One of the first years there's been a little bit of talk of, of some expansions again because we do have, are seeing some green grass early in the spring, which always leads to optimism in the ranching world. While the storms claimed cattle and put planting behind, Greg Meyer for one is trying to look on the bright side. This moisture is a blessing in disguise. It's too bad we had to give up so many calves to get this rain, but if that's what it takes. That's what it is. It'll be 2023 before federal officials count up all the losses, and it remains to be seen whether the compensation will be fair. For Ag Week, this is Michael Pates in western North Dakota. The North Dakota Stockmen's Association has launched a disaster relief fund to get help to ranchers. You can read much more in the next Ag Week magazine or at agweek.com. Thanks for watching Ag Week TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.